Hello my kiddos friend. Welcome to Reena's classes Maths with Fun. Okay, so you all know that February month is going on and in March month you are going to have your final exam. So first of all, all the very best and I am sure you all are not scared. And you know, I asked all my kids that uh, what are the portions which are going to come and um, they have told me few topics with every topics like they are very sure and they are not very scared but one topic is there which they feel that it's uh, I won't say that they are scared but they find it a little boring and some of the questions are a bit tedious so see here the topic is fraction hmm? what do you all think are you also scared or you also find it boring or tedious or like lots of uh, effort to put in when you have when you got this type of sum so forget all those things okay so in this video i'll try to make this topic interesting and quick hmm? so ready and let's get started hmm? so in this video i will deal with uh, all very easy sums and in my next video i'll go with some advanced level sums so you have to be very very attentive see properly try these sums at home and i'm sure you will start loving this topic okay so let's get started uh, so we are going to do first the addition of fractions um, so the very first question is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 okay um, what we do in school is we have to we make this denominator equal and then we solve it like if it is uh, 1 by 2 then we will make this all we will make it equal to 6 because 3 to the 6 so we will do like this 1 by 2 into 3 by 3 1 by 3 into 2 by 2 then 3 ones are 3 3 by 6 plus 2 ones are 2 2 by 6 then 5 by 6 so so many things are included here so you can avoid doing this okay and we can do it in a very interesting way also so the interesting way to do these sums are first multiply this and that will be your denominator. So 3, eight, three times 2 is 6. Put a line. And then what we will do is you will do cross multiplication. So okay, 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2. So your answer will be 5 by 6. Isn't it interesting? Okay, let's rub this. We will do this sum now. Now you have to do. Okay, one more sum I'll do for you. So quickly do 4 3 is a 12. Okay, now cross multiply 3 1 is a 3 plus 4 2 is a 8. Okay, so 8 plus 3 11 upon 12 is your answer. We don't need to change this into a mixed fraction also because this is already a proper fraction where the numerator is smaller. And we don't need to simplify it also because 11 by 12 is already simplified. Okay. So let's quickly go to this question where we will do 8 into 4 which is 32. And then 4 4 is a 16 plus 8 3 is a 24 which is equal to 6 plus 4 10. 2 plus 3 this came 40 by 32. Reduce it now. Okay, so I will try definitely with 8. So 8 5 is a 40, 8 4 is a 32. So the answer is 5 upon 4. Okay, I think in this way we don't feel it boring also. We, we feel that we feel like doing more and more sums doing this way. Okay, so I don't know about you but I am finding it very very interesting. Okay, now let's take one subtraction sum also. So the question is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3. 1 by 3. So quickly do this. 4 into 3, 12. 3 3 is a 9. 4 1 is a 4. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 5 upon 12 is your answer. So in all these questions, you don't have to find the LCM, make the denominators equal. You don't have to do all these things. Quickly you can solve these sums. Okay. So let's take few more sums. Not like this. Some other types of sums I will teach you. Okay. Okay. So let's take, let's say the question, let, let me take because I have written few questions for you. So first question is 3 plus 
2 by 3. The second question is 7 plus 6 by 8. And the third question is 2 plus 3 by 4. Or you can also take 8 plus 3 by 4. Okay. So basically I have seen with my kids that they get very scared. What is this? Oh my God. One number is like this. The other number is in numerator and denominator form. And they get very scared. Oh my God. No ma'am I can't solve this. Oh, 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 hold on. You don't have to worry about. See, in this, in school, what do we do is, uh, we write as uh, 7 by 1 plus 6 by 8. Then we will find out the LCM. And then 1 is the other 56. The other one is the so you will do these more things, okay? Let's quickly do this. The easier way to do this is, because this is a whole number, and this is in fraction, so your answer directly will be 3, 2 by 3. Oh, oh, I made it so easier. Okay, now 7 plus 6 by 8. So what do you have to do? 7, 6 by 8. Oh, isn't it interesting? Now do you think that fraction topic is boring? Not at all. Okay, so 8 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 8, 3 by 4. Because basically this is the whole part and this is the fraction. So your answer is 8, 3 by 4. Let's quickly write few subtraction sums also. Okay, so the question is 6 minus 4 by 9. Okay, C. Let's write the B question. Okay, <clears throat> next one you can write 3 minus 4 by 5. And the third question will be, let's say it is... Um, uh, 2 minus 2 by 3. This also you can do. Okay. So, in this we will not do like this 6, 4 by 9. The way we have written in addition. Here you will not do that. Okay. The simple trick to do for, do for these sums are just reduce 1. Okay. So, if it is 6, make it 5. Okay. And what is 9 minus 4? 5 by same number you will write 9. Have you understood what we have done here? If it is 6 minus 4 by 9, we will reduce this number by 1. So it will be 5 and then minus this, that will become the numerator for this and the denominator will be same. Let's quickly try this one also. So this is 3 minus 4 by 5. So this 3 will become, what will it become? Yes, correct will become 1 less which will be 2 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So it is 2, 1 by 5. Okay. Let's quickly try this also. 2 minus 2 by 3. So for 2 reduce 1. So 1 and 3 minus 2 is 1 and this will be same. So the answer will be 1, 1 by 3. Oh my God. I have made it so easier for you all. Do you all accept that? Say thank you to me first. Okay, now there is one uh, exception for the rule is this will this you can do only when this number is when this fraction is a proper fraction. If it is an improper one, you cannot solve it this way. So this you have to keep in mind. Okay, so see all these are proper fraction. Proper fraction is where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So we can do these trick only when the other number under fraction is in is a proper fraction. Okay, so let's consider one more question. Subtract 1 5 by 6 from 8. Okay, you get this type of questions in exam. So you don't have to worry about. So you just have to write from 8. So you will write 8 first. 8 minus 1, 5 by 6. Okay. Now, what you can do is, see this is the whole part and this is also the whole part, right? So, you can directly do 8 minus 1 will be 7. Hmm? 8 minus 1 will be 7 and 7, 5 by 6. So, this is your answer. Uh, no, there is one thing left to do here is hmm. so 
what you can do is a minus 1 5 5 6 so this will become 7 so 7 minus 5 by 6 it will come okay now 7 minus 5 by 8 minus 1 first you do 8 minus 1 7 then 7 minus 5 by 6 so again you will do the this technique which will be make it one smaller 6 and then 6 minus 5 is 1 and this is 6 so actually this part I have to explain you in my next video so you can leave this part the rest all you please practice at home and then in my next video I am going to explain you the simplification sums where you get the question like 1 5 by 6 plus 3 4 by 5 minus 3 2 by 6 plus 3 2 by 8 so these type of question how do you solve the simplification sums the advanced sums of fraction that I am going to teach you in my next video so stay tuned and practice all this trick at home and I assure you that you will find it very interesting. So favorite this video. If you genuinely think that this video is helpful for you all, share it among your friends. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye.